Hi friends, welcome everyone to Smart Engineering Academy. Myself Amit. So, after a long time, I am coming back with a lecture series that is training energy method. Since I was busy these days, I was not able to come up with a lecture series, and this training energy method is very important in the examination point of view. That is mainly for our public works department examination. So, I got a request from many of the students. to come up with a lecture series on strain energy method that is the reason i'm going to start this strain energy method almost in the uh, previous uh, pwd examination which was conducted in 2019 there were like 3 uh, uh, to 5 questions has been arise from strain energy method and uh, in this strain energy method we are going to follow the castiglino's theorem to find the strain energy in a member as well as deflection in the deflection in the particular member okay let us go step by step procedure first of all let us know what is strain energy method okay strain energy method let me take a graph see the strain energy in a linear elastic system we are going to study okay for example if i take if i consider this as a graph where the graph is plotted between the load and as well as deflection okay so the area which i had marked with the blue shows the area under the p delta curve this curve is called as p delta curve that is load to the deflection the area under the p delta curve gives the strain energy strain energy is represented in terms of u the area under this p delta curve will give you the strain energy associated with the particular material okay let me draw now how to find the strain energy with respect to this graph strain energy is um, represented in terms of u which is equal to it is in the shape of triangle what is the area of the triangle half into base into height okay half into base into height so that is equal to half into what is the value of base that is equal to delta and what is the height height of this is in terms of p this is what the strain energy method is going to come up so this is the main thing that you need to remember that is first thing to be remembered for the examination point of view then i'll follow several steps to find the value of uh, strain energy method with respect to particular and simplifications so u is equal to half into let me take uh, here i am going to write you know stress what is the formula for stress stress is equal to load per unit area that i am going to substitute in in this one so what is equal to p p is equal to stress into area okay half into delta into what is the value of p p is equal to stress into area is it fine so the next step is what is the formula for strain this is all strength of material the basic thing strain is equal to change in length to the original length okay that we can represent delta is equal to strain into length is it fine this i am going to substitute in this delta so the value of u is equal to half into what is the value of delta delta is equal to uh, strain into l into stress into area okay so what is area into length area into length will be equal to volume so half into volume area into length is volume into stress into strain okay next ings modulus will be equal to uh, stress divided by strain where strain is equal to stress by ings modulus is it fine i am going to substitute this value in terms of this okay so which is equal to half into v into stress into this will be equal to stress by 
Young's modulus. So the value of u will be equal to sigma. This sigma into sigma is equal to sigma square into v divided by 2e. This is the formula for strain energy. Okay. According to the examination point of view, what are all the things that you need to remember is one is this formula. And these are all the simplification which is done in order to get the standard equation that is second thing. These are the two things, the one and two things that you need to remember for the examination point of view. This derivation uh, is done with, a, with respect to the basic things which is involved in the strength of material topic that is for your reference. This is what the strain energy is with respect to the graph. Whenever the graph is plotted to the load versus delta which is called a speed delta curve the area under this graph will show you the strain energy the uh, since the um, obtained thing what I, what we are obtaining here is in the terms of uh, triangle uh, the area of the triangle will be equal to half into p into delta uh, strain energy is equal to half into p into delta with respect to this i had derived the several things please remember this thing and this thing so after finding out this i am going to tell you the some of the standard cases with respect to this okay this is the these are the three standard cases that you need to remember for finding out the strain energy in a beam just for an example i am taking a simply supported beam carrying a load of the value p let me take this length as l and in order to find the strain energy in this structure let me take this as a point a and this is a point p the more detail we are going to uh, learn when i am going to solve the problems just for your general reference i am going to say about this okay if this is the structure which is given and they are asking us to find the strain energy in this simply uh, in this cantilever beam uh, I am very sorry, this is a cantilever beam. In this cantilever beam, carrying a point load at the end, what you need to do is, you need to cut the section. Let me take this section as x. And the distance from here to here will be equal to x. Okay. Fine. So, what is the moment at a section x? As moment at a section x will be, is equal, will be equal to p into what is the value p into distance is x this is the moment at a point x that is what in the flexural loading the when the loading is in flexural condition with respect to this type of loading condition in order to find the value of u will be equal to integration of 0 to l see this is if i am taking the from this point this is the point 0 since I am taking it as a origin up to this point, what is the dis uh, what is the length? Length is L. So I am taking uh, integration from 0 to L. Okay. Mx square. What is the value of Mx? I had already taken. So this is the value of Mx. That is how we are going to take. And dx. What is the value of dx? If I am taking any point here, let me take an elementary area. Okay. Since we are integrating it to a elementary area let me take this elementary area will be equal to dx that is what the dx divided by 2 ei this is the standard formula with respect to this if you find the value for m p into x later after getting integrated it has to be uh, substituted to the point of 0 to l you are going to get the value of strain energy okay this is one standard condition when it with respect to flexural loading that is equal to u is equal to 0 to l mx square dx divided by 2 ei just to make a note of 8 while doing the problem this will be more clearer to you when a beam is subjected to shear stress okay u is equal to i'm sorry yeah u is equal to same thing mx square is going to change mx square will become tau square which is a shear stress into dx divided by 2 ae ea is what is ea flexural rigidity 
is it fine what is ae a is axial rigidity and when a beam is subjected to the torsion it comes to be t square which is equal to torsion and gj is torsional rigidity and in more cases in the examination point of view the most of the cases will get the numerical problems with respect to flexural loading in 95 percent condition you are going to get but in some of the mcqs they may ask the formula directly so these are the three standard cases in order to find the uh, i mean strain energy with respect to integration you need to remember these three formulas please make a note of it and with respect to the loading condition what is equal to u u is equal to with respect to the load under this is equal to u is equal to half into p into delta one formula you need to remember and this is the second formula that you need to remember with the okay just make a note of all these five formulas okay this is what the brief about the strain energy method in the next lecture series i'm going to solve many numerical problems from the basic problem to highest um, difficult level problem including gate problems including indian engineering service numerical problem i'm going to take i'm going to analyze each and every numerical problems okay next let us study what is casting linus first theorem in the pwd examination in the question in the syllabus they have mentioned casting linus first theorem so this is very important to know what is casting linus first theorem casting linus first theorem is useful for finding out deflections okay in the previous uh, we have studied the value of strain energy after finding out the strain, uh, value of strain energy where strain energy is represented in terms of u by making use of this strain energy we are going to calculate the deflection with respect to the casting linus first theorem we are going to find out the deflections in the this is important statically determined structure not indeterminate structure we are going to calculate the deflection for the statically determined structures with the help of strain energy value okay second uh, point in the casting linus theorem it is applicable when the principle of superposition is varied what is principle of superposition principle of superposition is already explained in my strength of material lecture series please go through that okay so now we have two formulas is being given with respect to casting linus first theorem in order to find a deflection that is after finding out the value of u with respect to this if your deflection will be equal to do u divided by do w where w is the loading condition if you want to find the value of slope where theta is equal to again differentiation i mean partial derivative of u to the partial derivative of the moment you will get a slope as well as deflection with respect to casting linus the first theorem so all these concepts will be much more clearer to you after solving the numerical problems please just make a note of all the formulas so in the next lecture series i'll come up with the numerical problems thank you one and all bye bye